William Shakespeare wrote Romeo and Juliet more than four centuries ago, but he probably never envisioned this love story occurring at an animal shelter. It is really sweet. Romeo, the cat's health, quickly deteriorated until he was reunited with Juliet. Joe Little has more now from Chula Vista, California. It can't be easy meeting someone society says can't be your partner. His face was just gaunt. Parting is such sweet sorrow, even if you're a cat. And he didn't look good. Little Romeo here was brought to the Chula Vista Animal Care Facility last month. The seven-month-old red tabby was put with other cats, but he only got worse without his better half. We gave him fluids, gave him some vitamin B injections. Nothing worked. Nothing until Linda Septon went down the hall to find Romeo's partner. Where Romeo's bonded partner is little Juliet. Of course, love knows no rank or riverbank. She's a purebred miniature schnauzer. The signs were always there. When um, Romeo was found underneath a car, he was all curled up, terrified, and Juliet the schnauzer was, you know, basically comforting, protecting him. They were put in separate areas. Juliet did okay with other dogs, but her Romeo crashed. Septon knew they were a bonded pair. A bonded pair for us is an animal that physically, behaviorally deteriorates without their companion. She brought the schnauzer to see the tabby. The bond was there. It was instant. I mean, as soon as Romeo saw Juliet through the, the glass door, it was boom, hey, my buddy's back. I've never seen opposite species so dependent on each other. Not in 20 years of working with animals. Juliet is definitely the boss and the protector. A protector that will always be with her Romeo. They will only be adopted if a family takes both of them. Parting would be such sweet sorrow. That's a sweet story. I know. It really is. It reminds me of that Ghostbuster line. <laughs> you know, the end times. <laughs> <laughs> Earthquakes, volcanoes, cats living with dogs. Oh, yeah. my gosh. <laughs> Only you. They are sweet, though. <laughs> Good for them. They are sweet. <laughs>